If science fiction has taught us anything, it's that one day, AI will destroy us all. But in the meantime, we might as well have some fun with it, marveling when it does things well and laughing hysterically when it fails at the simplest tasks. In this video, you're going to see a good mix of both. You're about to see real AI-generated gameplay of a Nintendo Entertainment System game. It was created using a computer program called PlayFun, which is designed to play Nintendo games based on objectives that are determined by its companion program, LearnFun. The software was created by this guy, Tom7, who has some great videos on it if you want to know in detail how it works. Links to all his stuff are going to be in the description below. Time to get right into it. Let's see how well an AI plays. Super Mario Bros. Gotta start with a classic. This is also the main game that the creator had in mind while designing the software. Although it's important to point out that Learn Fun and Play Fun were not programmed with any specific info about Super Mario Bros. or any other game. They take a general approach to automating Nintendo gameplay and can theoretically play any game created for the NES, although that doesn't necessarily mean it plays them well. It all comes down to how well it understands what it's playing, so to speak. And while it does seem to understand Mario pretty well, it does some weird stuff along the way. And we're also going to laugh at a couple of points where it fails epically. Hey, I'm right here. I'm sorry, Playfun, but it's true. Okay, what we're looking at right now is the training data that I gave you. This is where I record myself playing the game for a little while to give Learn Fun the data it uses to try and determine the objectives of the game. So I deliberately got a lot of coins because I wanted you to seek out coins in the hopes that you'd collect some extra lives to play with. In hindsight, I'm wishing I'd sought out some one-ups, but anyway, I went into Subworlds and I went to the warp zone in level 1-2. Now, I'm not sure what all that translated to in terms of your objective functions, but I was curious to see if you'd emulate any of those behaviors. It translated to me being better at this game than you. I'd like to see some proof of that. The proof is in the pudding. Okay, do you even know what that means? No. But I ate all of your pudding. Now for the good stuff, here's the AI playing the game. My name is Playfun. Would you like it if I called you? The human? Why do you jump backwards like that at the start? It's called style, you uncultured human. Jeez, you're so human with your humanness. That's really not an insult, but what I want to know is, you go back for this coin here, which I was pretty impressed by, but you don't get the power-up. You know, why don't you grab that mushroom? You really think I need power-ups? It's like a backup in case you accidentally take a hit. You missed the one-up, by the way. I've got a better strategy. It's called, get good, scrub. But you'll grab that mushroom. Yes. Are you happy now? I got it for the points. Juicy, delicious points. You know, points really don't mean anything. Don't be stupid. If they don't mean anything, why are they there? Taking up memory space. I don't have a good answer for that, but I will admit it's pretty advantageous in that I think that it's really improving your gameplay. For example, if it weren't for the points, I doubt you would have uh, waited for that power start advance to you. That was a pretty cool move, by the way. Swaggity swag swag. You aimed pretty high on the flagpole for that same reason. I'd be curious to see how differently you'd play the game if you weren't rewarded with points for pretty much everything. And you got the fireworks, nice. The game knows what's up. By the way, check out this precision stair climbing skill here. First level down, no problem. Now on to stage 1-2. Nice Goomba stomping coin collection action here. Look at those friendly Goombas walking hand in hand. They must die. Oh, that's harsh. Excuse me. But it's not my fault the game rewards my bloodlust. And then you found the fire flower. What's going on here? Your face is like inside that box. Dis my box now. Yoink. So long, suckers. Anyway, uh, yeah, you're playing pretty good here, actually. I'm impressed. You're, you're collecting stuff, smashing stuff, finding ways around all of these obstacles. Uh, you're busting through this wall here. Stupid wall. I hate this wall so much. I mean, you could duck slide underneath it, but I guess that takes human ingenuity and skill to come up with. You know what else takes human skill? Shutting up. And you even found the hidden coin block. You really like shooting fireballs, and you really like getting coins. And check this out. I'll bet you didn't know that was there. Too bad you can't see those coins up top there. It's see- Oh! Damage boost into the subworld! It seems my training was not lost on you. Check out this underground vault I found. I'm going to clean the place out. You know, I think I'm kind of glad that GTA never came out on Nintendo. I mean, I, I don't know that I want to see what kind of a monster you would be in that game. What the heck was that? You master every obstacle up to this point, and then you just walk off into the pit? Indeed. 
Your training was not lost on me. I went down here into the warp zone. That's not a warp zone. Yes, it is. It warped me to a parallel timeline where I hadn't yet ransacked this vault. You can get, what, 26 coins tops down here? A life is worth a hundred. It seems my master plan is beyond your human comprehension. You see, I'm going to bankrupt Bowser by stealing all of his coins. He will fire his minions to save costs, but he'll eventually have to mortgage his castle. And while he's out at the bank, I'll just walk in and take the princess back. Time to warp again. Again? You've gotta be kidding me. What would possess you to do that two times in a row? All will become clear in time. Soon, you will witness my glorious triumph. Great. Play fun. That was your last life. It's not my fault. Something's up with the controller. Nice try. <sighs> this doesn't make any sense. You were doing so well. And there it is. The pudding that holds my glorious victory. I think you're confused. You got a game over. Look at the top score. That is my score and it is higher than yours. What? At the end of your training data input, you had 35,650 points. I have beaten that by 6,900 points. As the kids would say, nice. Times 100. Okay, no, no, that's not fair. I didn't play the game over. I, I quit voluntarily. And you got to world 4-1 with that score. I was on world 1-2 with a higher score. Extrapolating linearly, my score would be many times higher when I reached the level where you quit. But you had no more lives, you couldn't have gotten there. Oh, what's this, you're just gonna, you're just gonna start again? Ignore this debate? I don't know why you're debating my logic. Logic is literally the only thing I do. Huh. Seems like you're, uh, taking this a little more hesitantly, and, uh... And you got the mushroom. I'm starting to see some cracks in the armor there, play fun. And what the heck is going on here? Come and get some. Don't pretend you are not jealous of these moves. Next time we're going to take a look at how Playfun does with Super Mario Bros. 3. Here's a little preview of that. Hey, you're just messing with me now, aren't you? Swaggity swag swag.